Say hello to Turbo Repo 2.6. We can go through the headline features here and see what's new. First things first, micro front ends. This is an architecture pattern where multiple applications are served under the same product surface. In our case, this is gonna be domains. So each path for the domain will be handled by one of the applications, kind of like you see in this uh, drawing here. Each application is its own zone in a way. Uh, so the home route here gets handled by the same application as the products route. If you were to navigate to the blog on this website, you would end up uh, getting served by a different application. We can see this in action actually on Vercel.com. We're on Vercel.com right now and I happen to be <laughs> recording this during Next.js.conf. But if I navigate to, for instance, the Docs app, that was actually two different applications that served me. On the home page, that's our Vercel marketing app. And then here for our docs, this is our Vercel docs app. These are two different applications in one Monterey bow. This is a great strategy for teams at scale who want to start to break up their uh, CI CD pipelines, their release cycles, uh, build times can be brought down this way. There's a number of things that you can get out of this strategy. Uh, but there are some trade-offs, of course, too. Uh, this does help with production deployments, but it does mean for local development that you suddenly have three applications that you might need to spin up and show different behaviors for depending on which ones you run. Well, with this new feature in Turbo Repo, you can visit all of those applications that you want to work on on the same local host port. You can see here, you'll build up this microfrontends.json file and we'll give it the routes that it's meant to serve into each application. Let's see this in action. Here I have a simple Turbo Repo, but I've added a microfrontends.json file to it. It's just like the one you saw in the blog post, except that maybe I added one more uh, application in here. Uh, you can see that is in the parent application that's in the web uh, application. And when I go and do Turbo Dev, just like usual, we're gonna see that we see all of the dev tasks get spun up uh, for these various applications. Now I'll move that over so that we can take a look at what this looks like on localhost 3024. So you can see there, uh, this is being run at our localhost 3000 port, but again, I'm on localhost 3024. That's pretty cool. Now, uh, HMR works the same way that we're used to seeing. So maybe I'll add some more strings here, for instance, and we'll see that HMR works. But what becomes interesting here is that, remember, I'm on 3024 and I can navigate over to the docs application. This is localhost 3001 being served now. Um, we can go to nested pages. This all works as you'd expect. We can even go to, I think I have like another uh, application here. This is our admin, for instance. Um, this is on 3002 is where it's uh, running, but I'm visiting 3024 still. And we're seeing this application be served to me. So we can be on one port and work on many applications at the same time. This makes for a great DX, a great local developer experience, but uh, taking micro front ends to production is kind of a different beast. <laughs> the Turbo Repo native micro front end proxy there, uh, that's only meant for working locally. If you want to take micro front ends to production, you'll have to work with your production infrastructure. If you do deploy to Vercel, uh, releasing today to GA as well is the Vercel uh, micro front ends product. Uh, this is a package that you can use in your repository and everything will work across those different zones of your applications. Um, so Turbo Repo, the uh, micro front end proxy that you saw there will dynamically adjust when it sees this uh, Vercel package. And so everything works seamlessly. You'll have a great experience between your local environment and your production environment. Now, I'll get ahead of this. No, this does not mean <laughs> that this is vendor locked to Vercel. Um, we are more than happy to work with any other infrastructure providers that want to have the same experience for uh, their infrastructure. We only have this uh, for Vercel on day one because we did this research with some of our largest customers at Vercel. And so we're taking those closed source learnings and moving them out to open source. Next up is 
Bun. Bun, if you haven't run into it yet, is an all-in-one JavaScript tool chain. Um, advertises being pretty darn fast, actually. Uh, and you can use it with Turbo Repo now. <laughs> it is now stable um, to use Bun with Turbo Repo. This means that when you use Bun as your package manager in your Turbo Repo, um, you'll get this granular task activity uh, when you change dependencies for specific applications. So just to show what this means, uh, turbo build here, I've already run this build command, so um, we're going to hit full turbo. Now, if I go and change, let's uh, go into some package JSON for web maybe, I'll um, change the dependencies for this web application. Uh, now, I only change uh, the web application there. So when I run turbo build now again, we'll see that I hit cache for docs still, but the web application knows that it needs to rerun. So we get this granular task graph. Uh, this also applies to anything that isn't builds. But again, if I run turbo build, we'll get that caching behavior just like we're used to seeing. So that granular reading and parsing of uh, the changes that are in this lock file, they matter a lot in a big repo when just removing one dependency, for instance, you don't want to rerun everything. You just want to run what changed. Last one here is the task list search in our terminal UI. So uh, I'll just use my bun example here. I'll keep using that. Now, when you have a lot of tasks that you're running, if I do maybe like all of these, I don't know. Um, you end up with a pretty good list here. And if you're in like a really large monorepo, then that list can get even longer and longer and longer. And it can be really annoying to have to cycle through these just one by one. Instead, you want to be able to focus on the tasks that you care about most. So for instance, as you see here in this header, you can now tap slash and then I'll type maybe docs. And now we're filtered to the uh, docs uh, tasks. So we only see the ones um, when I push up and down. I'm only going through those ones that apply to my filter. That wraps up our big features. Of course, we are always working on uh, everything in Turbo Repo that we can. We've got a ton of fixes and other smaller features in there. Um, and I do always want to make sure that I call out our brilliant community, always contributing. Really appreciate these folks that not only use Turbo Repo, but are passionate enough about it that they want to make it better um, alongside us on the core team. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're uh, if you see your name on this list, shout out in the comments and uh, make yourself known. And that wraps up Turbo Repo 2.6. Uh, give it a try. We encourage you to uh, use these migration scripts. Makes it really easy to go from uh, one version to another. And uh, we'll see you on the next release.